Hi everyone, it's Steve Smith from Melbourne, Australia. I'm stuck in the back cave here uh, doing some crazy things with synths. A couple of weeks back I was looking for some real-time controllers to control synth hardware without a computer. And there were some very helpful people in the forums and a shout out to Robert Dorshell for helping me out. Basically, I was looking for a way to control a rompler in real time. I know that sounds a bit silly, but I wanted to do filter sweeps. I wanted to do envelope stuff. I wanted to control volume. And I was looking for a solution. And then all of a sudden, I see a set of devices which I can potentially use. And I'll swing the camera around so you can have a look. We've got the Korg Nano controls. The Korg Nano controls are basically control panels. Each control sends out three bytes at a time as a standard CC message or a note on or a note off message. And these are used for software. And the guys at Korg said, you can't use these for hardware. And I thought, bugger, I've just wasted my money. So the next step was to get in touch with the people from Kenton. Uh, the MIDI USB host basically replaces a computer and enables you to take USB signals uh, MIDI signals into a standard MIDI out from a USB controller and I have two of these here one for the Nano Control 2 and one for the Nano Pad 2 which is a uh, in this case I'm sending patch change messages so let's demo this first of all I have a Roland XV2020 Rompler and I am going to change the patches in real time, single press from the NanoPad. And that it basically sends a signal from the NanoPad, three bytes out, goes via MIDI USB host through the Kenton Merge 4 because I've got multiple MIDI sources, including notes from the keyboard below and from the controllers here. And they're all being directed into the Roland XV2020. Now, not all parameters are controllable, but quite a few are. Uh, so over here, I have the Nano Control 2, and I've set the slider on the end to work as a volume control. So you'll hear the sound there like that with the volume set up. And I drop the volume down and nothing. So I can get a, a basic rise in volume there you can hear that coming in full volume and then we want some filter sweep so let's go to a different sound i'll just use the nano pad 2 to change the roll next speed 2020 to patch 100 which is i think a moogie sound oh it's an organ we'll go for that patch 68 which i think is a uh, moogie sound all right back to the nano control and i have the cutoff for the filter and the resonance set on the first two knobs over there. So let's just use this in real time. I'll hold down something with my elbow. Hopefully you can hear that in the cutoff. I've set on knob two. So basically I've turned an XV2020, which is a cheap rompler, into a synth that has real-time control for performance. So I can change patches single touch via the nanopad. I can also link in two nanopads if I need to and have 32 concurrent pads which will address 32 different sounds in the XV2020. And I've also got another few sliders here which I'll use for ADSR and modulation. You can also use the pad on the nano pad for a XY controller so we can do we can do little uh, vibratos and so forth and you can make this change pitch or effect level or whatever you want within the XV2020. Now this is a very primitive setup but there are no computers involved. So I'm hopeful that this gives you a few ideas of how this might work. And if you're a live performance person, you'll appreciate the ability to touch one pad on the Nano and get a different patch straight away. And you can line up a few of these and run them through a MIDI uh, merge box. This is the Kenton Mini Merge 4. You can use any one you like. Uh, the only host I've found that works to su supplant the computer 
is the MIDI USB host from Kenton. I've tried a number of other boxes, uh, including the one suggested by Korg Australia that didn't work. Uh, thank you to Korg Australia for telling me A, I couldn't do this, and B, uh, to buy some stuff that I didn't ultimately need. So you may find a cheaper solution to this, but hopefully this gives you a few ideas on how to change things around. All right, so have a good Christmas. I'm probably sideways on your screen. That's the nature of being in Australia sometimes. Uh, take care.